It is 9.01 a.m. U.S. Pacific Daylight Time, and yes, this is the Hake Report. We will be fixing the background. <laughs> Sometimes this happens. It's all right. And uh, <clears throat> I am James Hake. It is Friday, May 7th, the year of our Lord, 2021. The year of our Lord is the translation for A.D., Anno Domini. It's 2021 A.D. It's not C.E., CE is common era, Com- more like communist era, liars, snakes, trying to erase Jesus and Christians. You know how they accuse Trump of trying to erase the transgender people. And in the name of Christianity and Christian music, I have another song from Salters. This song is called Psalm 6, and it's probably taken directly from Psalm Six. That's one of those uh, poem things that King David or some other people wrote in the book of Psalms in the uh, Bible. So enjoy this from Psalters, Psalm 6. And I guess you could switch over to the, uh, the beach scene, the awesome beach scene, or else the awesome Peck uh, Park Reservoir, Peck Lake scene, <laughs> whatever you like. And uh, enjoy this song, and I will be chatting with you guys, and we'll get on started with the show. Psalm 6 from Salters. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. And you may hear paper rustling. That's mine. It says, be gracious to me, for I am falling away. Heal me, O Lord. For my bones are dismayed. It's very quiet, but if you listen closely... You can hear? Isn't that very nice? Yes, it is. And this is that guy that you guys accused of trying to sound like Tom Waits. Plus the snake handler whaler guy. (laughs) The church bells are ringing, says John Rios. TTT! James needs to prove his... Taste in music is terrible. <laughs> TTT, does that stand for Torah, Torah, Torrance? I'm greatly dismayed in my soul. That's what one guy is saying. Be gracious to me, for I'm falling away. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are dismayed, and my soul is greatly dismayed. O Lord, how long? Return and rescue my Lord, my soul. Return and rescue my soul. Oh, Lord, how long? Thank you, Jim Justice, with the YouTube chat. How long? I love bright lights, says me. Yeah, don't we all? Yeah, we. I get it. You like bright lights. <laughs> I'm playing. I like bright lights, too. All right, guys. You can call in. 888-775- 3773 888-775-3773 What is this supposed to be? TF <laughs> Let's go. What does that stand for? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. It's Oonga Boonga music. <laughs> Jeez, who head 69. So guys, this is world music and This weekend is Mother's Day, and everybody worships Mother, including Mother Earth. So I will be talking about the globalist socialism that they're trying to usher in through this Save the Earth madness. There is no First Amendment, because the First Amendment is a destruction upon the agenda of the communism. So Twitter has suspended Trump's, from the desk of Trump account. It's not Trump's though, I don't think. And I have some memos, if you will, from the desk of Trump. I will be censoring them in order to be YouTube friendly, Facebook friendly, Twitter friendly. I do have some positive news for you guys that I think you will enjoy. Good and right in time for the weekend may want to take a hike, don't get lost, don't get stranded, 
Cake has lost his mind. This is Hydro PX. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Poor Nick. Did you not warn him about his beta mail shirt yesterday? Beta, says Corbra Cor 99 I didn't notice what he was wearing until you guys, until he saw your chat. <laughs> you know, we come in to work and we don't look at each other. We're busy getting our own stuff ready. We're in our own heads. <laughs> Is this, am I, is my voice competing with this too much? <laughs> Are we about to sacrifice to the wicker man? Asks Roger that. The music stinks more than anything has stunk before, says Austin Dan. Well, it's better that, it's better with Hake bongos. Thank you, Jim Justice. I think my Af Amerifro is growing feathers from this. Hake, can't see you. Hake into the pot, not true. Vocalist was like disturbed singing the sound of silence by them for to, for them to choose. Hmm. Well, I know that you all enjoyed that. Turn your voice up louder. My bad. If I was talking too quietly with the music, I asked for it to be turned up. <laughs> All right. Let's get right on with the show. Nice. <laughs> talking about Mother's Day, the uh, green madness. Green is the new red. They're trying to take over America and your freedom through this communist idea of, oh, save the earth. Oh, it's the hate report, the hate report, la la la. I am fine. I hope you enjoyed the original The Hake Report theme song, courtesy of A.J. Gallardo. My, this is the original, not the remix. Beta remix? No, this was the original theme song from which Trevor Wesley fashioned the epic version. The epic yet shorter version, in which I only have time to say, Hey guys! That's how Hey Guys was birthed. Because I only had time enough to do that. But with the A.J. Gallardo song, I had time to present to you guys what I'm going to touch on. So, shout out to Anthony Joseph Gallardo. 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 The Screeching Music is the original Hake song? Nope. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people uh, did not seem to be fans of the beautiful... Salter's music. I see Indians dancing around a fire t in this music video, says TTT. Well, that part's positive. Cut the music, says Colin Barrett. No, Haig, turn your voice up louder to drown out the music. Pagan music with Christian singing, says Hy Hybrid Human. Slenderman music, says <laughs> Godsteam. Wow. I will ne now exercise the house of... Sp it's, it's a song after uh, Romans... I mean, Psalm 6. See, look, Psalm 6. You can't see it. Ugh, turn down the brightness. Can't do it. <laughs> but just, pr just trust me. You can barely make it out. Let me put it in the shadow. Psalm 6. Proof that this is Christian. That's awful, says XD Garbanzo. Praise God, says Jean Benoit. Thank you. Sounds like a song you would sing on a boat traveling across the ocean in 1800. Yeah, that's the idea. So, um, according to the far-left female outlet, before I get to calls, The Skim. Female-run outlet, The Skim. 
they are going to try to get you, well, other people have said, that they're going to try to get you to eat bugs instead of meat and other things. Because they want you to cut down on your meat consumption because that's contributing to this uh, climate madness. And men, probably more than women, need meat because they do a whole lot of work. And when you do a whole lot of work, you need meat, generally speaking. So it's kind of an attack on men, too, by the way. But Mother's Day is this weekend. What you doing for Mother's Day? You going to talk about Mother Earth? That's what the far left females at the skim are doing because they don't want to be mothers. The females at the skim, most of them probably on birth control, which I've detailed recently is bad for you. Bad for you. And they say climate change is causing problems. When you're a worrying woman, worrying your pretty little head about politics, if you're not a if you're not somebody who formerly voted for Trump and then betrayed him, like the disciples did, then you're a sucker for this climate change nonsense, too. And that's what the uh, female-minded liberals are, are up to, including sleazy Joe Biden, by the way. As the sleazy females at the skim write, they said that last month, the average world temperature has gone up a little over one degree Celsius, two degrees Fahrenheit, since 1880, they claim. And like anybody's lived that long to know. Give me a break. Most of that rise coming for, since 1975. Hurricanes, wildfires, droughts, floods, scientists warn it's only getting worse, and human activity is largely to blame, they claim, without evidence. No evidence. The UN's, the UN, of all places, the corrupt Communist, enemies of America, United Nations. Nope. The UN's long been focusing on how we could treat Mother Earth better. Because they don't believe in Father God. At this time, it's zeroing in on methane. Methane emissions. Methane is that stuff that smells bad. It's a potent greenhouse gas that can warm the planet 80 times as quickly as CO2. So all of this carbon emissions mess was just a fake idea. It was a fake concern. Because methane is worse, they say. <laughs> they can never make up their minds. How capricious is their god, their false god? Am I right? Climate change has been ending the world for the past 40 years, maybe more than that. Oh, the next ice age is coming. Remember that? Some of you may not, may be too young to remember that the next ice age is coming. Oh no, it's global warming. Oh, since we can't say it's global warming anywhere anymore, now we have to call it climate change. You can tell that's propaganda. People don't really think for themselves. UN published a report yesterday that found methane emissions from oil, gas, agriculture, cows, sheep, industries are leading to thousands more deaths from air pollution per year than previously thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, UN. Mr. IPCC or something like that the International Panel on Climate Change Conference or whatever, that shuts out dissent, specifically like censors, engages in censorship against uh, scientists who differ with them. Give me a break. I don't trust you. Please. But, yes, thankfully there's a but. Cutting methane emissions by up to 45% in the next decade. Yeah, right. Could help humanity out. It would help prevent hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations, premature deaths, and millions of tons of crop losses, they claim. Like, they, they're just trying to play God, right? Companies could fix leaks in natural gas pipelines, coal mines, and drilling sites, helping to reduce 36% of methane emissions. They could also choose renewable energy over fossil fuels. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Which causes more problems than they uh, solve, by the way. Then there's diet. Scientists say, listen to this, reducing meat consumption, the single best environmental action a person can take. That's why the people were saying no more burger, that Cortez, Sandy Cortez, going to take away your burgers. That's what they were, where they got that. Argentina's taking notes, but changes in diet aren't just for humans. One study found that feeding cows seaweed can cut their methane emissions by 82%. Gross. What would a cow who eats seaweed taste like, who ate seaweed all his life? 
Seaweed-fed beef? Mmm. I, I wonder. These efforts may take longer without everyone on board. If God made cows to eat seaweed, he would have, they would have been born on the, on the sea floor. <laughs> Am I right? Not everyone is. One report estimated China's emitted more greenhouse gases in 2019 than the U.S. and, they write, any other developed country combined. Excuse me, the skim, your grammar's bad. It should be, if you're adding combined, that means U.S. and every other country combined. Just a question. Sea cows, seahorses. Yeah, exactly. They have changed the phrase. Now it's climate emergency. That's right. It's, uh, and they don't want you to call it a national emergency at the border because they want these people coming in and taking the jobs and bringing drugs and crime and ha being rapists and some, I assume, good people. They don't call it a... Uh, National emergency at the border. Crazy. And so they're ushering in this globalist socialism. Globalist socialism. Where you have no recourse against the overlords who are way off in far away seas or in D.C. And if you try to confront them, you're an insurrectionist. <laughs> U.S. financial regulators are moving very fast to take on this so-called climate change. Well, this is an obsolete headline, and it's just from yesterday. It's supposed to be a climate emergency, Epic Times. This is from the Epic Times. Financial regulators around the world are rushing to implement models to measure the financial risk arising from climate change. Central banks, including the Federal Reserve. I didn't know the Federal Reserve was called this. I guess I did know that that was a central bank. Central, uh, central, what did, what did one of my callers call it? Central gangsters, it's including the Federal Reserve Bank. Fed. Audit the Fed may soon begin to implement climate stress tests of banks, which may limit financing for industries such as mining, oil, and gas. Wow. In other words, they're going to clamp down on uh, some of the things that make America great. Just as these people have clamped down on, I don't know about the central banks, but many banks have clamped down and not and discriminated against those participating in our great Second Amendment industries. Gun, anybody involved in the gun trade at all? Anything to do with guns? PayPal and other, other banks with Obama's and holders Operation Choke Point, discriminating against whole industries. Hey, put on some weight, says A. Owens. What? I'm, I'm exercising. I'm working on it, buddy. What a mess. The world's largest central banks are pondering how to promote green financing. These people are sleazy scumbags. And they don't care because they stay paid anyway. So it's not as if this is good for the market. It's not as though it's just a matter of common sense. Nope. It's about their, as Nicholas called it, their false religion. Terrible. You know, there have been people, we, Jesse Lee Peterson, we had him on Patreon and Subscribestar and a free speech platform called New Project 2. New Project 2 was run by a guy named Dick Masterson, who um, started this as a free speech platform. It was basically a Patreon alternative. And what happened to him? Somehow, he was put on something called a match list. M-A-T-C-H. Match list. And that match list is primarily for 20 push-ups a day would do it. I'd do that. But thank you, Raphael. Appreciate it. The match list is for, um, I'm deceptively strong. Trust me. Don't test me. <laughs> the match list is for people who do, like, scams, money scams, and all kinds of bank fraud and all that, wire fraud, things like that. Or, uh, sex trafficking, or some type of sick pornography or whatever. That's what the match list, I think, is for. 
and maybe including people who aren't even on it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so in short, they're ju- they're dumping a guy, and his and the people who are on, were on his website. It included JLP. It included that that young lady, Soph. She's a minor, but she's a smart, talented uh, YouTuber at one point. And uh, the Ralph retort, that guy, Ethan Ralph, he was on it. And they basically, he can't even conduct banking, at least not through that uh, company. The mat, he got match listed. Based on what? They did nothing. Nobody, everybody that I just mentioned, perfectly, perfectly uh, upright Christian, more or less, more so than the average person in the mainstream, on the, in the public eye. Children are not smart, Hake, <laughs> says Hydro PX. Fair enough. Push-ups, sit-ups, burpees, hit the heavy bag. I gotta find a way to do pull-ups. Is he saying Dick is a Christian? Well, I'm just saying that by compared to these people, he's a Christian. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Fairly decent, halfway decent guy, more than, maybe even more than halfway decent guy. These are halfway decent people, which is more than I can say about the people banning them. That's, that's all I'm saying. So anyway, they're uh, clamping down on, they want to clamp down on mining, oil, and gas industries. Limit financing for those industries. Stress testing developed after the Great Recession, which is the 2008 so-called crisis is a process by which central banks determine whether a financial institution has enough capital to weather various economic risks. The European Central Bank, ECB, is one of the pioneers in investigating and deploying concrete plans to address climate risk, which is a non-concrete risk. It's not concrete. The bank is currently piloting a framework for climate stress tests that involves 2,000 banks in the euro area, planning on to publish the result of its exercise in July. Shenanigans is more like it. Shenanigans. It's pretty sick stuff. And they're meddling in America. The Fed. Isn't that a private? Isn't that private? It's not even a it's not even controlled by we the people. It's not even controlled by we the people. Um it's crazy. What a fake world we live in. I'm going to talk about this attack on the First Amendment and Trump and Trump's attacking back, which is nice. And uh, other positive news. I've been, I teased a couple of days ago some positive news, and I will be getting to it, I promise. And also, I have a, a passage to read, a Bible passage at that. Let me first, though, get to Chris in Arizona. It's been some time since I've heard from her. She wants to comment on vaccine ingredients. Uh, Chris in Arizona. Long time no here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Nice. How are you? Doing fine. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Nick is really great. Yeah. Oh, it's his anniversary month. May. He started May. Was it two, three years ago? Oh, really? Okay. Uh, his first day on Jesse, because it was my first day listening to Jesse. That's how I know. Okay. Wow, that's cool. And I thought, I thought during the process he was going to get fired, and <laughs> I remember thinking, no, 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 <laughs> because you know he started working that day in the studio, right? I think. I and, don't know. And- I don't even remember. I didn't know that he started <laughs> in May. I think I think that might might be true. We were talking with him in April, I guess. And it was two yeah. or three years ago, you say? Wow. I, it, two years ago? I'm thinking three. It's got to be three now. I don't know. Time flies. Yeah. Time flies. So that lady that... Well, 2019, had, early 2019, I, I believe, was uh, Daniel's stint. And then um, I filled in a little bit after him, and then Nick came in. May 2019, <laughs> Daniel's... Daniel yeah, Daniel was Daniel was a producer. Oh, okay. 
Is that when you came? That's when you first. Wow, Daniel, you came in May 2019. It felt like January. Okay. See, I didn't see Daniel, so it must have been closer to Jesse's birthday, which is the 22nd. Oh, Nick. So. Nick started in May 2019. Nick. Okay. Oh, okay. That was my first day with Jesse. Nick was then. typing under the screen name Daniel, so it threw me off. <laughs> Posture, Hake. Oh shoulders back. <laughs> Thank you, Den Tejin. 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 <laughs> I always stumble over his name. Yeah, cool, Chris. Oh, and you're talking about those bug eating. They're trying to get us to eat bugs. Yeah. Survival food. You only do that if you have nothing else. Right. Oh, my gosh. Survival food. If you haven't seen Soylent Green with Charlton Heston, I recommend it. That that movie, Soylent Green by Charlton Heston? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've and heard of it. And they have that drink out, that drink out called Soylent. <laughs> yeah. The, isn't it made from soy? I don't know what it's made of. I haven't looked at it. Just the fact that it's called that. But Soylent Green is people. Yeah, you gave I just spoiled the movie. Dang. You spoiled the movie. (laughs) (laughs) You suck. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I was reading the other Chris's uh, thing. But anyway. So uh, this morning, um, uh, whoa. Uh, he, his name just left me, and we were just talking. Nick, Nick's talking to that woman who, who no longer wants to follow Trump. Or no, she didn't say that. She's still. She on, said that she's questioning whether she would vote for him if he ran in 2024, because Look, he promoted giving, vaccines. Right, he promoted vaccines. He was giving the majority of who voted for him want the vaccine, yep. and he was giving us what we wanted. So if she is under the assumption that all of us Trump followers can't think for ourselves. Right. Just because he said it doesn't mean we're going to say, oh, the almighty Trump. Well, she's also talking about how the the stuff, the good things that Trump does gets perverted by the people who want to force vaccines down our throat, which was predictable. It's a predictable outcome because they've been they've been coming down hard against so-called anti-vaxxers. Anybody who's yeah. who's leery of other vaccines over the years, the mainstream media has been needling them and smearing them and attacking them. You know, like concerned mothers whose, in some cases, their children have suffered uh, negative impacts, seemingly from the vaccines. Maybe not. In some cases, well, maybe not. Well, that's the reason why I but they say, That's the reason why I started looking into it. They started hyping this stuff as, oh, anti-vaxxers. Well, when I see the mainstream media going after anti-vaxxers, I start not trusting the mainstream media. <laughs> you know. Indeed. Right. So. Because I'm not an anti-vaxxer. Right. But my friends, their, their boys were coming out with um, autism. Back then, I did not know there was Stay close to your phone. even a... I didn't know that there was even a thought that there was a connection or right. people put a connection, whether or not it's proven or not, doesn't matter to me. Yeah. That autism is linked to um, getting inoculated. So right. my friends, countless of them in my mom's group, all the boys were getting autism and the girls weren't. And I found out years and years ago that females, when they're born babies, have a higher resistance to um, death than boys. Uh, boys are more, you know, weak as babies, but when they get past that initial birth and all that, they, they're they stronger, right? Yeah. It, it, Interesting. It's kind of I, hadn't, weird, I didn't know that. It, it's a little bit weird. So most of my friends, we were having girls, but the ones that were having boys were having all these issues. Yeah. And so um, I had my first child and I was taking her to the doctor to get inoculated I just started looking stuff up found out you know some of them have fetal cells in them and I've and heard she's that now 18 wow she's now 18 so yeah the fetal cell line that they're using for the um COVID-19 is H-E-K-293 and P-E-R-C-6 but the H-E-K is from 1973 so wow. we think, oh, that's a long time ago. And that's, a, that's, from a, that's from a baby body part. 
Okay. When we is say it? baby body part, the cells are from the kidney. They took the cells from the kidney. Is from that the, baby body part? It sounds like a body part to me. Right. Is it from a dead and baby? Then, uh, I hope they're not taking it from a live one. Uh, are they, is it from it like says, an aborted, aborted baby? Uh, this particular line says undisclosed origin. See? Now, That's leery. The, the, the late it is. It makes me leery back anyway. Then, back then they kept uh, better records. Oh. I think if they want to hide something, they're keeping it off because the, yeah. next, the other fetal line is from 1985. That is, I, ha- I have not seen one um, that close to our time now. That one is a new one on me. I just found out. Yeah. So this is from a, a um, article, and at the end of the article, it has all these links to um, Catholic organizations and um, the Catholic Council of uh, Catholic Bishops are for the COVID-19, and in the article, their article is why it's okay, why it's okay for us Catholics to, to take the COVID-19, and I'm just like, wow, how they are, when you read it, it's so head knowledge. Yeah. It's so um, educated language. I'm like, no, if it's wrong, it's wrong, just bare bones. Right. That's strange. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's in those things. I've heard various things. I've heard that there's mercury in some of these things. And that right. that, that is what weed. causes problems for yeah. some of these boys. Well, yeah. Heavy metals in your blood. Oh. Yeah. It it affects your brain. You can't think. You can't uh I remember but, I got in uh, trouble for the, one time a thermometer broke and there was mercury, right? And it's just this liquid you stuff in you. Uh, I was like, what is this stuff? And so I was like poking oh, at it and stuff. that explains it. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble. My dad got, he like yelled at me or something. I might have even yeah. gotten spanked. But I didn't know. That's a spankable um, <laughs> offense, yeah. <laughs> it's funny though. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Heavy metal is in my blood, says independence. That's funny. Crazy. So, yeah, I won't get the shingles vaccination. It has fetal cells in it. And the fetal cell, it allows the vaccine to be stored at higher temperatures. It, it, basically, it's easy to transport. It's easy to keep the cells alive longer. It's just there's something about it that's so resilient, and that's why they're using it. It's cheap. It's cheap. Wow. Right? It's an expensive way to preserve, to study not only that but they can reproduce one cell thousands and thousands of times before it's degraded wow so the companies only have to pay okay send me this much and then of course they call the source whatever that source is who has the original cells who are selling them yep you only have to buy a portion that portion will last for a very long time and then after thousands and thousands, or I'm just using that as a number. I don't know how, how many times you can use that fetal cell before you have to get another one. Wow, that is It lasts creepy. a lot longer than all other forms. Is of, fetal cells the same as stem cells? No. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Sometimes. Uh, the stem cells, when you give birth, you can get it out of the umbilical cord. A lot okay. Of baby and yeah, that's fine. The, That'd be all right, I think. Right, right. What's wrong with that? But you can. I do believe you can get uh, stem cells from an aborted fetus. Of course, you can. Yeah. And Obama, uh, not Obama. Um, Biden is trying to make it possible for uh, them to. Right now, you can't, um, you know, take stuff from a baby, but but. Biden is trying to get it to where you can uh, take it from an older fetus that's been aborted. And now I would not be surprised if there is a mill out there who, okay, get pregnant for us, we'll abort your baby, can we have your baby? And they're probably paying a lot of money for people to do that. I don't know. Wow. That's just a a (laughs) guess. Yeah. Who knows? You don't really have to pay people to get get abortions. 
True. True. <laughs> uh, that, that's wow, right. what a mess. I, I, I'm, it, You're Catholic, huh? I, I think I forgot about that. You're Catholic? I was raised Catholic right now. Yeah. I am going to a different church, the first day of church since years. I'm going to this church down the street. Okay. Cool. My first day was last week. I don't know if I'm going to continue or not. It's just interesting. You and know. do you catch the church it, with Jason Lee Peterson Church? Oh, every Sunday. Nice. Yeah. Every cool. Sunday. Well, thanks for the input. Yeah, people are, there are valid concerns about the vaccines. And uh, um, I have to start collecting this information because my friends on Facebook, they're like, oh, yeah, prove it. Because they're my Catholic friends who are like, oh, I just got vaccinated. They're so proud of it. Right. Like, oh, well, guess what? And they get angry. I'm like, uh oh. Right. I made somebody angry. They don't, they don't, I'm not judging them. They don't know. Yeah. I'm just putting the information out there and like, oh, yeah, prove it. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I don't have the link on <laughs> You that don't have now. to prove it. If they're, if they're yeah. interested in the truth, they can look for it and, and, and see whether it's true or not. The internet's yeah. not even hiding it anymore. Yeah, I mean, people. Are, it, if people, if people ago, are interested, don't let them Reddit you, because that's what Reddit people do. <laughs> oh, uh, blacks are more likely to commit uh, theft than whites. Where's your source, bro? But give me a break. Yeah, it's my common th- experience. My thoughts are: I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, if they really care. If they really care, they'd look it up themselves. And when you look it up yourself, right, you're more inclined to believe it. Yeah. If I just give them something, it's like, oh yeah, I don't believe it. It's right. Source. People if believe what they want. People believe what their heart is inclined to believe. Thank right. you, Chris. Appreciate it. Good to okay. hear from you. Take care. Have a good day. You Bye-bye. as well. Wow. Take some man calls, Hake, says A. Owens. I will. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, but I saw a super chat. Lin Yan Chin gave a Trovo colorful chat for some reason and said, at Meeve, I liked that movie. What you talking about? What did... I don't know. What movie? Did Meeve say something? I'm looking for Meeve's comment, but anyway. He goes on, Flood to Flash Frieza and some pretty white chicks. What the heck? Lin Yen Chin? Wondering about the frozen New York. Did he mean to do that colorful chat? Thank you, I'm completely lost, Lin Yen Chin, but he also gave another colorful chat on Trovo.live slash The Hate Report. Said, pizza money for you and Lady Good Hair. Ah, appreciate that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Thank you, Lin Yen Chin. Very nice. And uh, just checking the streamlabs.com slash The Hate Report. Peter from Periscope gave a Streamlabs super chat in the middle of the night, last night. Or maybe a little bit before that. Said, Christians nowadays cater to the homeless. Yeah, that's true. Help illegals settle. Yeah. And let people walk all over them. Yeah, that is so true. And he's all, blah, blah, turn the other cheek. Hand over your coat. You know the deal. Why are most modern Christians so retarded? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't use that R word, Peter from Periscope. But yes, that is true. Before I get to some man calls, A. Owens, <laughs> it reminded me yesterday I was thinking about my call with Solomon from Los Angeles, the man who's he's uh, come to church. He uh, has called into my show multiple times <laughs> and other things. And he talked about how landlords are given no rights while renters and squatters and bad, and let's call them problem tenants, <laughs> or issues tenants, there are no such thing as problems, problem tenants get all the rights. And he talked about how he was quite generous and easygoing as a landlord who rented a room to different people. And how those people would try to walk all over him, disrespect him, not, not want to pay their rent on time or pay enough for rent. And be uh, difficult to evict and all that stuff. And that's what's happening to America. He was too nice to the point where it wasn't fair. If you keep it fair, they'll respect you. 
they're forced to respect you. They have no choice. That's what Trump did. He kept, he sought to keep things fair and they were forced to respect him, including around the world. Now we're not respected anymore. And yeah, they would try to laugh behind his back because they are sleazy snakes and weak cowards. He would confront them to their face and they would talk behind his back. He's a man and they're cowards. But uh, in America, we get, we have these people come in here, disrespect us, not pay their rent, their taxes, their uh, commit crimes, and they call us racist. <laughs> it's so destructive. And it's our fault. Just like it was Solomon's fault for being too easygoing. He didn't know better. And now we know better. What a mess. But is it too late? Who knows? I don't think so. It's never too late. Okay. So, um, lines are full, guys. Thank you, Peter from Periscope. Yeah, this is fake, a fake version of Christianity, in short. Because that's not what it's talking about. And there are no poor people in America. There are none. Zero. They're not poor. They are quite well taken care of. No hungry people in America. It's by their own doing, if they are at all suffering. There's also some stuff that's, you know, making it more difficult to thrive in the country. We all know that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that this, all this subsidized housing isn't making things harder, and all this immigration isn't making things harder, and all of this cheapening of your money isn't making this harder for people to buy their s- homes and all that mess. But it's, it's crazy. It's basically weakness. Weakness. Brought it on ourselves. I enjoyed Salters this week, says some little ethnic child. I like how versatile they were with their work, and it's an honor to have heard them. Thanks, James. Right on, some little ethnic child over there on streamlabs.com slash the Hague Report. See, we found a Salters fan. So eat it, people, haters. <laughs> uh, Jib Jab says, eat, bu- eat, the, eat the music. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jib Jab says with a Streamlabs super chat, Bulgarian split squats and Nordic hamstring pulls are alpha exercises. Look into them. Make you real strong. Thank you, Jib Jab. Appreciate that. Bulgarian split squats and Nordic hamstring pulls. Alpha exercises. Make you strong. Look into them. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Faithful friends for the support. I got to get to art in Ohio. Been on hold forever, and he wants to, he wants to talk to me, and I want to talk to him. So let's do this. What's up, Art? Man, what's up with you, Hank? I'm going to try to get straight to it. I got a whole bunch of stuff to talk to you about. Yeah. All right. First thing first, uh, with that little lady with the talking about Biden uh, trying to pass something about we're uh, taking the uh, fetuses and uh, selling them and paying the people to have the uh, the fetuses. Well, that's what that's the bad thing about when you put somebody when they put somebody like that in office. Now you got to yep. figure out all the kinks and the twists that he's underhand doing under the American people's noses. That it's not racist. Uh, it ain't sexist. It's just evil. You right. See what I'm saying. It's just flat out evil, good and evil, and that's evil. You see what I'm saying? And, yeah. But that's that's just track history, and we already know about. It, so we wouldn't expect we wouldn't expect nothing less than him. Then, uh, then I want to go back to your uh, your man uh, Trump. Yes. So my thing is this: once again with him, he was in there. All they kept all this stuff going, the, all them leaks compromising in the White House. Yeah. They had the most leaks of information why Trump was in the White White House. And I think this is awfully funny. Over the last 60-something years, all these females running around here in these positions, and then all of a sudden, 2022, uh, 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 the whole time he's in uh, elected, all these uh, leaks and stuff is coming up. This ain't never happened in American history where the White House has really been compromised like that. And if it has, I haven't never heard of it. Yeah, you and you know saying? what? And it wasn't even necessary because Trump was quite transparent with what he was about and what he was it, doing. Facts. Yep. Facts. Go ahead. Yeah, you're right. You're right. For sure he was. And everybody knows that. Yep. That's why we liked him because he, he spoke the truth. 
He ain't, and, and he laid everything out on the table for you to see. Yeah. And it went no high. He went for acting like he was trying to hide, unlike the uh, these people in this fraudulent mess uh, situation that just happened over the last six months with this election. I know. Just going, with this going down in Detroit that they need to go ahead and fix right. immediately and put my main man, uh, uh, Trump, Alpha Trump, back up in that mug, man. You know what I mean? You know <laughs> I what I'm agree. saying, man? And, yeah. Uh, and, uh, but, nah, and that's that. Then, uh, I want to say something about it. It was one of them dudes that called up here with Nick when he did was doing his show. Yeah, we are allegedly are human, but uh, I heard from one of these scientists, and I ain't too for sure, but I'm thinking he's uh, he's about 90% correct. There are some blood types out here that are not the original blood, and their blood has different uh, different DNA. And then I heard that it's a uh, different type of blood. It ain't only just red blood, blue blood. I heard it's green, yellow blood, all type of blood. Really? So, I mean... Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard some cool things. There's about always that. there's always some scientist or other coming up with some new thing or other, and people nine times out of ten, I'm gonna say, don't even interpret don't even interpret it right. Well, you know the sad part about it, and that's what you got the thing you got to the, the, the try to discern and figure out when you're listening to them. Is this an alpha? Or is this a beta? Yeah. Do, uh, do they believe? Do they are they are they do they believe in Father God or do they believe in the uh, uh, the, the they Daddy Satan? Because the ones that tend to believe in Satan, they tend to let you know that they're straight out liars. You just gotta you just gotta tend to believe when they tell you that they, they uh, that they're liars. Not be like, oh, he's not lying. He he didn't just tell me he's he's lying. Right. You know what I mean? But uh, that reminds me, are yeah. are you? Wait, wait, uh, wait, are you a Hebrew Israelite? Did I remember that man, right? I, I, I keep telling you, I'm tribe of Judah, man. I, tribe I, of I, Judah. I, I, I would, I would, I would, I would say that I'm a Christian, but just like that dude, that this, uh, what's his name, Pierce, Peter from Periscope. Yeah. I see, I see, uh, see, I'm, I'm not one of them fake Christians or whatnot. Uh, I don't believe in that man lying with men. I'm not no liar. I'm not no cheat. Uh, right. I try to I try to honor my mother and my father. I don't uh I don't be out here stealing and killing and I ain't out here causing no confusion and the most that I the most that I might be out here doing is lusting over uh lusting over females. You see what I'm saying? So you're but That's you're from right. you're from the tribe of Judah in the nation of Israel. Yeah. Did you hear my call? Did you hear the the caller from a couple of days back, John from, I forget where he called my show from, maybe New York or somewhere, John from somewhere. Yeah. Did you hear that show? That caller. He called no, my show. He said that he's an Israelite. Oh, okay. Well, I, that's that. All this goes back onto your blood and everything. Your blood will tell you everything, and that's what them. That's what the alpha scientists know. Because it's the scientists, they're fighting between each other because they're having the same same problem that me and you having with these the, with the elections and, and how the liberals and the conservatives are true conservatives. We tend to we stick we stick to the facts. You see what I'm saying? The truth is the truth, and the facts are the facts. And there you don't got to argue the truth because it right. is what it is. One plus one is two. So go and back, go back, Art, and oh, yeah. listen when you when you have a chance. Maybe this weekend, if you have time, yes, if you have time. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Wednesday, May 5th, I actually put out the clip, Hebrew Israelite, where's Hake out? His name was John from Kentucky. And he gave his perspective on slavery and the Civil War and stuff, and our presidents, our our first ten presidents. He was a black Hebrew Israelite, and we talked about Jesus and the cultural attack on Americans. He was one of those guys who is happy to see whites suffering now and complaining. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, so check it out and let me know what you think of it when you have time. Yeah, yes, sir. One more thing. All right. Not, and it, it's like uh, I be here in the lobby. I be and sometimes you can kind of be confused, but you got to let people uh, sit back and let people tell. And then a lot of people be trying to say I don't like to talk about the Bible and talk about my religion. And it's just, it's like, what has the Bible done to you? You see what I'm saying? And what has the, anything, I mean, anything that the Bible is telling you ain't doing them, but trying to tell you before something bad happens, it's, it's just a, a, a blueprint. You see what yeah. I'm saying? For a, a chosen people, you see what I'm saying? And they post to, they post to show the rest of the people, and the rest of the people post to pick it up. 
You see what I'm saying? But and it kills me because it's like, yeah, it might be something that a book that's, uh, that y'all might think this uh, fictional, but everything that it 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 it, it, it is it says in a uh, book is it, telling about a certain uh, a certain race of people and and uh, and, uh, and other human beings are here on this earth. Yeah, so and it has and it has story. good I'm advice listening. that rings true. I have a it passage that I'm that I'm going to be reading later uh, next hour from yeah. the Bible. And then, and then my thing is this: is with the liberals, they tend to try to watch the alpha males. You know, have security trying to follow you around because they, you know what I mean, just for nothing. And the whole time you up here watching the alpha male uh, art from Ohio, it's like you need to be watching your kids because I guarantee you the person who you got around your kid is probably doing something that they ain't supposed to be doing to them. Uh, it's a lot of pedophiles running around here in America, I and know. it seems like America keeps trying to, uh, keeps and it's trying not, to hide them. And, and, and it's not primarily men, unlike what they claim. Oh, and it's not primary, primary, primarily men. Yeah. And I know it ain't big. And I know it ain't Bigfoot. Right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know it ain't. Uh, I know it ain't ET from Mars. You see right. what I'm saying? So who else? Who else could it be? Yeah. And they and they always per- perpetuate stuff, you know. Uh, and then yeah, well, and then another thing with even with the uh, with the gays. Once again, I have to say it on this channel. Is this like? Uh, yeah, I don't have no problem with. Uh, with which you are as a sex, but when art comes on this show, you ain't got a question whether I like females. Why, when I got to talk to you, I got to question your sexuality. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't just laying it. You ain't just right. laying it. It got to be a secret. It got to be a guessing game. You see what I'm saying? And then it, another thing, once again, with them, with the uh, with the weirdos, the homosexuals, whatever you want to call them, the gays, whatever you want to. Long story <laughs> short, uh, they, they tend to always want to be in people who are logically thinking in their sexual reproductive systems where we want to reproduce and have kids. That Why sounds they logical. Want to can- yeah, we, I want to have kids with a female and get married and do everything the, the conservative alpha male and uh, alpha female way, and they up in here trying to tell me how I should live my life and how I should do my life, and it's like, no. You should be trying to figure out why you like uh, uh, two boys being with each other, right. or two girls being with each other. Quit trying to tell me how I should be trying to raise my kid and figure out what's wrong with your sexuality. And then with that CIA lady, I don't want to hear about you know first generation Mexican that's in the yeah. CIA. You need I, I want to hear about American stuff. I don't want I don't care about where you from. And truth be told, you shouldn't be able to be in the CIA if you got I any agree. type of mental problem. I and she has be, two uh, young kids. And she has two young kids, and you know she ain't got no. And to this day, you know she still ain't got a man in the house. To this day, you know she ain't got a man in the house. <laughs> you know it. You we ain't got probably a not. I don't know if she, she but, didn't say that she's a single mother, but I can't. I don't know what. And, I, and we and <laughs> and Haken Art from Ohio ain't in the CIA, and we know this. China and Russia's our biggest problem. So we don't. No, we got enemies no within. Person. It's not China and Russia. It's, it's enemies within. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we point out. That's yeah. what we point out. It's, and, and, and it's that right there. You got that mess in the CIA. Yeah. They already co- compromised. All right. I got to run, man. I appreciate your call. It's great hearing from you again. Yes, sir. I'll catch you later, buddy. Have a good weekend. Tell Take Chris, care. Tell Chris I, I have a good weekend, too. All right. Thank you, sir. I will. All right, buddy. All right. Okay. We're at five minutes till I got to get this guy in. Uncle Ted from New York, a first-time caller. Wants to comment comment on this communist group group, goop. Yeah, that too. Buying land in the United States. What's up, Uncle Ted? Nice to hear from you. Hey, hey. James. What's going on, man? It's going well. Good. Everything's going well. Thank good, you. Uh, yeah, it's uh, good talking to you, man. I'm, I'm yeah, first time caller. I've been a fan of the show for a long time. You and Jesse. Nice. Appreciate that. It's good to hear from you, man. And. uh yeah, I, I wanted to get your. I don't know if you talked about it before. I I, uh, I didn't catch a show a couple times this week, but the uh, the group, the Black Hammer, that that bought 200 acres of land in, in Colorado. They I have it. Their own communist commune for uh, colonized people, people of color, yeah. whatever. You haven't heard about it. I have not. I've heard the name, and I've heard a little. I mean, I was thinking about Black Lives Matter agitators buying up a bunch of properties, but I wasn't thinking about... Somebody in the chat mentioned Black Hammer, but what's going on with that? Well, they're kind of like a Black Lives Matter sort of organization, but right. they... 
they bought up some some land in a very mountainous region of Colorado. Two hundred acres. And, you know, two hundred acres. They're going to start their own, you know, commune. Which sounds like, oh yeah, wouldn't we all like to do that? But if you if you look at the group of people, it'll give you a good laugh if you look it up. They are they <laughs> they're limp wristed, flabby armed. These people, and if you look where they bought the land. You couldn't uh, you couldn't survive up there. These people are going to go up there and they're going to make it six months and 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 not going to have any food and it's going to be like the Donner Party up there, you know. Wow, I remember the Donner Party. Is that the group that had to eat each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a lot of there's been a lot of good a lot of good comments from people who aren't even they're just kind of trying to be nice and I, I'll take my priors. I wouldn't be. I'll try to be nice, but. You know, people are like, judging by what's growing there, the soil is moderate at best, high altitude. You're not going to, you know, just kind of give them, guys, I don't want to, you know, rain on your parade, but you're you're not going to be able to do what you think you're going to do. Yeah. You know? um, I see a headline from Fox News about this Black Hammer organization. Communist group, this is the headline, touts plans to burn Anne Frank's diary. Yeah. Calls her a bleach demon and a colonizer, Anne Frank. <laughs> isn't that I, that? I have, isn't I'm that looking, that Jewish lady who who did a diary about the Holocaust or something like that, hiding away? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at their tweet right now, and it says, "Y'all whiteies keep asking us how we're going to keep ourselves warm up in the mountains. Don't y'all know? It just takes a good book to burn and some nice wood, and we wow. and we and best believe we have plenty of copies to keep us." Warm all long season. That's a picture of Anne Frank's diary. <laughs> wow, like, oh, indeed. <laughs> yeah, bleach demon. Okay, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, they tweeted that out May third, and it appears to be still up. Imagine. Yeah, and it just. It, yeah, I, I know. Imagine. <laughs> it just gives me a good laugh, though. I, I mean, I'm all I'm all for people going out and Chris wants out to join own, them. You know. <laughs> Take, yeah, go. Yeah, go join them. Well, actually, if you're a white person, you can pay them a hundred dollars, and they'll uh, alleviate you of your, uh, uh, your, you know, your prior whiteness or something. Wow, that's it. <laughs> so just, you know, give them a hundred bucks, and you're good. <laughs> yeah, forgiven. <laughs> but you're not allowed to go live with them though, because you're still a colonizer. So. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's, that it's, is. It's interesting. How did they get the money to uh, buy this property? Um, I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I would probably say they probably played off people's white guilt or something like that. Or, yeah. I mean, there is a there is maybe oh, how many are there? There's maybe a hundred of them or two hundred or no, they got oh. three acres. Uh, R T says they crowdfunded sixty five thousand for a doomed there, city yeah, in the Colorado mountains. Sixty five grand. That's yep, not okay. that much. <laughs> and they were able to yeah, buy two hundred acres. There? Wow. <laughs> Imagine being a imagine being a communist, a Maoist, and yeah. you have to crowdfund something, ask people to give you money. I'm a I communist, know. but guys, can I get your money, please? Well, you know, these people, they ca- capitalism is all part of their plan to destroy because they incorporate and, and pollute and corrupt. Just take away the morals, and capitalism turns completely evil. That's what's going on right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not a big fan of capitalism myself. I I have many 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 critiques of it. It's it's I honestly don't think it's been good for us within the last, you know, 100 it, years or Ill so. Got, and, ill-gotten but, gain. Look at all the women working and just all the corruption that has ill-gotten gain, love of money. That's it's evil. We need freedom is good, yeah. but we have to have morality. You don't have freedom exactly. if you don't have that. Yeah. No, what kind of freedom is that if you if you don't have morality? If, yeah, you're just a slave you just to sin. Take it to hedonism and yeah, yeah. They um, and that's why they promote all of this degeneracy and stuff that gets you sick and and at risk and LGBTIQ stuff. Those people are dependent on uh, government subsidies to to keep them from dying, <laughs> basically. Well, yeah, they 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 say that they're the rebels against the system, but really they're the toadies of the system. They are right. a, a wing of the system. Yeah. They, they think that they're not, but really we are the radicals. Us here, even, it, just even being a good Christian nowadays right. is, is somehow seen as, you know, radical. The things we're, we're saying are, are radical, and we're just saying, 
be a good person. Right. You know, be good in God's eyes. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. You know, be healthy. Be active. You know, and, and somehow that's where we're radicals. For, yeah, for I mean, you, that, many you know? people, many people are becoming refugees in their own country or being called terrorists in their own country just for being Christian, basically, and, and, and white. Yeah. <laughs> and men. Yeah, that's, that's the new, they, they went from blaming Muslims now. I, I think that's been a long plan. You know, after yeah. 9-11, it was, there was a lot of Muslim hate. And now, what's it now? It's, it's all white Christian males and stuff, or just yeah. Christians in general, too. You know, it's, it can go beyond that, but that's where, you know, designated. Now they're, they are calling us domestic terrorists and that's and it's that's it's wild because we're just we're good wholesome people who are just preaching good values and, and stuff like that and, yeah, and terrorists and, and getting on no fly lists <laughs> it's quite yeah, yeah, wild yeah. never committing a crime and and not being able to domestically travel in your country yeah oh, but the airlines they're private companies though that's that's a <laughs> load of crap right i know there. and it was the tsa that did it anyway but the air the private companies would do it too and they they're part of the problem. I appreciate it, Uncle Ted. It's good to hear from you. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. I appreciate it, man. I'll definitely try to uh, call back in soon, for sure. That sounds good, man. Have a nice weekend. You too. Thank you, James. All right. I'm getting to my second favorite caller up next, and I have Robert in Kansas who wants to talk about an L.A. judge who says, How's the homeless? Earl wants to talk about Georgia, Florida. Zach in Columbus, Ohio, wants to talk about the Olympics banning Black Lives Matter based. But that's like the Tokyo Olympics, and it comes with an asterisk. Tokyo has gotten rid of all their men who were running the show, you know, the planning the Olympics. It's, it's a big mess. And I will read your super chats as well. Oh, I didn't see your note, Brandon M. I will, I will get to—I guess you can ask him. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's play Refugee. Refugee from Salters. Enjoy some little ethnic child and the other uh, two or three of you guys who enjoy this. Cover your ears, the rest of you. Um, we'll play it good and loud, and I will be back in a couple of minutes for the rest of hour two. Hang tight.
Boy, hasn't that word refugee been corrupted and perverted and abused and polluted. Kind of like the word love. Refugee. Nowadays, when you think of refugees, you think of invaders. <laughs> rape fugees as what took place, I think, in Germany, when they let in like a million or, or more people, a couple million people. I don't know how many. And there were big problems. Yet, in one country, or one city, they had to put out pictorials on where not to touch women. Because <laughs> they would just... I guess they dressed immodestly, in, in, the ladies dressed immodestly in that city, or something along those lines, and the guys just felt totally at liberty, the refugees, if you will. And refugees, most of, that me- most of the time, that's meaning, like, fighting age males, by the way, for some odd reason. More of Hake's ritual music, SMH, says E-S-C-O, ESCO. Oh, my Amera feather fro is rising. Says Lin Yen Chin. Yeah. Hake loves to torture us with his music, Mr. J says. NBA on their knees in the name of fentanyl overdose. Yeah, that's true. Angels coming from Africa right now, says Jim Eagle. My husband plays this when I clean the house, (laughs) says Chrissy. This is nice, Canadian David. Thank you. Is this from the Jim Jim Jones soundtrack? Asked Radulator over there on Twitch. Shout out to Twitch.tv. Is this an old Negro spiritual? Asks Ancient Black. I like those Negro spirituals. Those old Negro spirituals. I, I gotta share this. These couple of screenshots from uh, Uncle Ted's call. He mentioned. I put a couple of screenshots in the main folder there, just called screenshot, of these people who were buying up, these communists, who were buying up the 200 acres, I guess for, what, 65 grand? That's, maybe, I I must have the story wrong. 200 acres is nothing, says Luis Bootsy. Bootsy. That's easy for you to say, Louis. It's good to hear from you, man. Uh, The separatist group Black Hammer. Acquires 200 acres of Colorado land to create an independent communist city. And you see a whole bunch of these people with their communist fists. And it looks like a white woman or male thing. And yeah, (laughs) Uncle Ted has it about right. Bunch of limp-wristed, even if they're clenched fists, those fists are even weak fists. All of them. One guy, barely. Okay. That's an actual fist. The other ones, mostly women. And then their tweet says, Y'all whites, Y-T-S, whites. (laughs) Their, Their tweet reads this from May 3rd, asking us how we're going to keep ourselves warm up in the mountains. Don't y'all know it just takes a good book, burn, and some nice wood. Wood emoji, fire emoji. And the best believe we have plenty of copies to keep us warm all season long. And it has the diary of Anne Frank. Because blacks are the only victims. Jews are not victims. Blacks are only. Blacks only. (laughs) Ridiculous. Shameful. So, hope you enjoyed the Salters. Maybe I'll play one last song at the end of the show. (laughs) <laughs> Even though I like the ending sh- song, I have maybe one more song I want to play. It's called S- The Sword. I think you guys might like it. But I got, I have to get to Earl, a f- who's been on hold for quite some time. And then I will tell you guys about this. You know what? Let me tell you guys about this First Amendment stuff. Before I get to Earl, hang on, Earl. One more minute or few. Twitter has suspended from the desk of Donald J. Trump account. Because you guys heard that Donald J. Trump on his website is now putting out these periodic messages that he writes out, kind of akin to tweets. And there was a Twitter account that was created to share those, apparently. And apparently it was unrelated 
to anyone Team Trump, but it was putting out his messages. So Twitter suspended them because they claimed, oh, it's trying to get around the Twitter ban, Trump's wrongful Twitter ban. They falsely accused him of inciting violence. You guys all remember, I covered it pretty much in depth, how they pretended that his beautiful statements of peace and love and law and order were inciting violence because he believes something that they don't believe. And they call it the big lie. I'll get to that. But Twitter has suspended an account of unclear origin that seemed nominally affiliated with the former president, our real president, Donald J. Trump's newly launched communications platform from the desk of Donald J. Trump. You can go, you can find that by going to donaldjtrump.com slash desk, by the way. He puts up sometimes multiple updates a day on things that he's thinking. So right on. As stated in our ban evasion policy, we take enforcement actions on accounts whose apparent intent is to replace or promote content affiliated with a suspended account. That's what a spokesman said. Wrongfully suspended. Twitter is evil. And so is Facebook and YouTube. Google. By the way, Trump did put out this statement. The fake news media, he put this out yesterday, working in close conjunction with big tech, what they call big tech, right? These monopolies. And the radical left Democrats, oligopolies, is doing everything they can to perpetuate the term the big lie when speaking of the 2020 presidential election shenanigans. I replaced the F word fraud with the word shenanigans. They are right in that the 2020 presidential election was a big lie, but not in the way they mean. It didn't even have the legislative approvals from many states, which is required under the U.S. Constitution, and was also otherwise corrupt. Indeed, the big lie. So Trump is taking their word, the big lie, and using it against them. Right on. So when they try to sell the American people the term, the big lie, which they do in unison and coordination, Think of it instead as the greatest fraud in the history of our country. An even greater hoax than Russia, 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 Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. Impeachment hoax one, impeachment hoax two. Or any of the other major scams, many scams, the Democrats pulled right on Trump. Getting it off his chest. The Federal Election Commission, by the way, in Washington, D.C., Trump says, has totally dropped the phony case against him, against me, he says concerning payments to women relative to the 2016 presidential election. Remember they were trying to accuse him of paying off women, using campaign money to pay off women? They dropped it, the Federal Election Commission. He says that they dropped it. It was a case built on lies from Michael Cohen, the rat, as he called him, a corrupt and convicted lawyer, a lawyer, in fact, who was so corrupt he was sentenced to three years in jail for lying to Congress and many other things having nothing to do with me. Trump said, I thank the commission for their decision ending this chapter of fake news. Between the two sleazebag lawyers, Michael Avenatti and Michael Cohen, we were all able to witness law and justice in our country at its lowest. Right on, President Trump. Isn't that interesting? So, correcting the record. And by the way, Biden is all for this stuff. He's for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube clamping down on free speech, as is sleazy Pocahontas, who's like, oh, and she acts like she's an enemy of Facebook, but she's for these bands of these decent men. She just wants more government control over them. Ridiculous. Anyway, I got to get to Earl from Michigan. Earl, how are you doing? Earl. Earl. Hold on. Hey. All I want is this. Thank you. Senior James Hake. Good to hear from you. A.K.A. Baby Hitler. How are you doing, Baby Farrakhan? My my second favorite Nazi. (sighs) Who's your first? How you doing? Who's the first? Uh, I'm leaving that slot open. (laughs) Chris wants wants to be your first. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> He's welcome to it. He's but, welcome uh, to it. That's funny. Um, 
I was um uh, I wanted to comment on depending on what you uh said you you would talk about yesterday about George Floyd. You never got to it. That uh, uh um it was depending on whether I agreed or disagree with your points on George Floyd. Do you remember yesterday you said you got you had something to say about that? I talked to you yesterday. No. In your in, in your uh talking about what you would talk about, you would get to something on George Floyd. Hmm. Don't remember. You totally totally forgot. Yep. Yeah, I was going to comment on depending on what you oh, okay. played. I uh, see. George Floyd okay. melodrama. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about you know the okay. So there was um, the brother, for example. I mentioned this one. The brother of George Floyd set no, not the brother, the juror, the black brother. <laughs> You know that 31-year-old basketball coach, just a total joke of a juror, Brandon Mitchell, who hosts a, a dating and relationships podcast and wore his Black Lives Matter t-shirt on that podcast. He's a basketball coach, black guy, and said, oh, we need to effect change by getting into these jury rooms and effect change. This guy, he said that he used his mask to hide his tears. Let me copy these over into the uh, folder for us here. Black, and the black brother of George Floyd, obviously he's black, right? George Floyd's brother, Philonis, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, P-H-I-L-O-N-I-S-E, says Emmett Till was the first George Floyd. <laughs> okay, buddy, Emmett Till, the guy who, the, uh, the 14 or 15 year old black guy from Decades ago, who allegedly was tortured and murdered by a couple of black, a couple of white guys over a, him whistling or talking to a woman, allegedly. So uh, he said, today you have the cameras all around the world and see and show what happened to my brother. It was a motion picture. The world's seen his life has been extinguished and I could do nothing but watch, says Philonese. But he says Emmett Till was the first George Floyd. Whatever sense that makes. It's ridiculous. Emmett Till was allegedly racially motivated, right? Because a black young man is not supposed to whistle at or talk to a white woman in those days, right? 50s or 60s, whenever it took place. But there's zero evidence that it, race ha ha played any role in George Floyd thing. It was just racial profiling against the white cop. So that's ridiculous. And then George Floyd's so-called family reacted to Derek Chauvin's so-called guilty verdict. And this was, a, this was a Huffington Post headline, and they show a Getty Images picture of these people who don't even look like his family. I see maybe Phil and East, the brother, but I see Al Sharpton, sleazy Al Sharpton, nobody respects him at all. Uh, sleazy Benjamin Crump, nobody, he's a total joke to everybody, everybody knows that he's a joke. And a whole bunch of, you know, the black mob and some white radicals standing alongside them like simps. And that's just holding up their fake black power fists and hands and celebrating a wrongful conviction. Give me a break. That's the mob. That's mob justice. That's what social justice is. It's not, it's not actual justice at all. So that's what I was going to say yesterday about this George Floyd thing. I'm glad you brought that up. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. What's your problem with the uh, juror? The juror was hiding his ma his tears behind his mask, because and he was also an activist juror. He was not for actual justice. He didn't even. He was trying to read the facial expressions and judge uh, Derek Chauvin based on his facial expressions when most of the time he was wearing a mask, saying he he didn't look like he had any. Uh, regret or remorse. He showed no remorse. As if he should show remorse when he doesn't think that he did anything wrong. So what a ridiculous fake juror. And allegedly, some say that he lied. 
I don't know if that's true. I don't know if he attended a George Floyd or Black Lives Matter protest. But somebody said that he claimed that he didn't when he, when he may have. I don't know about that one. But there's no question that he's an activist and not a just, justice-minded juror. So that juror, just to clear that clear it up, attended a uh, a march on a Martin Luther King thing with a with a uh, BL, BL or whatever T-shirt. BLM, Black Lives Matter, yeah. Yeah, BLM, and uh, which, to my understanding, the questionnaire said. Have you ever doing a Guadir process when the lawyers were questioning to see if they were suitable jurors? Mm-hmm. And was the question was, have you attended a, a protest in 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 Minnesota? Uh, so that's questionable. So if he said no, but uh, to that because it was specific to an area, yeah. That is not being, being being dishonest. Right, but there's the, nothing uh, honest about that juror, regardless. That's com- that whole point, that whole question was completely irrelevant to uh, the, the reality. Thing, we all know that that juror is not an not an objective, fair-minded juror. You had an alternate juror who said the same thing about uh, uh, Derek Chauvin. So and it wasn't it wasn't the. Uh, so, yeah, the, so the whole jury was corrupt. Is that what you're saying? I agree with that. No, no, they just thought uh, he looked pompous and and self-assured that uh, he didn't care how how George Floyd died. See, that's he, that's their pompous. They're, that's their pomposity. They're the ones who are pompous and self-assured in their false judgment against well, their they, fellow man. Well, that means you don't false. you don't you judge don't a man on his guilt or innocence based on his facial expressions. It's ridiculous. That wasn't the only thing. It's a it's the overwhelming evidence. There was no overwhelming the evidence. There was one That's medical examiner who said this is this was a homicide. It was because of his be, having his neck and back compressed and body compressed. He couldn't breathe. And it was six medical experts. It was. Uh, it doesn't matter if it was uh, one or six. It was listen, a disputable thing. Listen! No! There I don't was, have to listen! There, was a, there were several in his... I, his the only reason you care he, about this, Earl, is because... The, Earl! 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 Superiors. Earl! The only reason Earl cares about this at all, which he doesn't really care about it, is because he's told to. Because the cop was white and the black was, was black. That's the only reason that he even knows about this case. It's the only reason. Well, you can you can make your little rant judgment. Thank you. I guess uh, I guess you can you can read Adios. my mind too. Adios, you amigo. Can read my mind too. Goodbye. Uh, and the other thing. Adios. Is, you know, hey, you run, Adios. You uh, you scared chicken. <laughs> you. It was a uh, several. You've been on policemen. The several policemen. Yeah, I don't care. That wasn't their policy. So what? I mean, you talking about it just You're just giving little, up a whole bunch of he said, she said. You don't want to face facts. You defend policemen no matter what they do. Not true. They can shoot somebody in the head and, and when they handcuffed, and you were justified. Not true. You big liar. You're the one who's all but, into uh, the black thing because you're a sucker. And you're all into the white thing. Not true. You're defending anybody white. Not true. You're defending uh, Adios. Defending Ruth, anybody Adios. Else. I didn't defend so it, Dylan Roof. I told what, you the truth about what it. What other folks do? Adios. You're just as guilty. Bye, Earl. Uh, Hitler. Adios, amigo. Thank you, <laughs> man. Let me quickly get to uh, a sane voice. Pegasus is a first-time caller in Wisconsin. Pegasus, what are you up to? Hey, James. Hey. Kind of work, working and listening to the show. Right on. Yep. How you doing today? Doing well, thank you. Good. Hey, um, so I, first of all, I just want to kind of apologize to Nick. I was a little riled up when I called him last week, I think. Oh, okay. He probably, um, he may not even call. remember. No worries. Um, I was talking about Trump and we were kind of ranting and 
Okay. And it just kind of hit me. I don't know really if it's a revelation or a thought, but I mean, who am I to judge the character or the contents of another man's heart? You know, and really that's up to God the Father, right? So, I mean, he did some pretty rad things. And, I mean, with... Oh, so you're, you're, the, you're con- you have your... You're, you have drawbacks with regard to Trump. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, okay. I, it's just, uh, it, it's sad that people have to dig for the actual truth nowadays. And, you know, all the mainstream medias are just blatantly lying. And yeah. obviously they're against them. So that, you know, it's just like people have to make these weird assumptions and try and connect dots. And with all the Q stuff and all that fake news still on the Internet, like, I mean, this, you don't even know what to think. Right. But, I mean, obviously people are ticked about the, the pressure that corporations are putting on us with, you know, the supposed mandatory vaccines and whatnot. And airlines are going crazy, like, about people not wearing masks, even just trying to take a drink. It's crazy, you know? Yeah. You were calling so, in about but, the, the importance of local elections? Yeah. So I've kind of been um, technically canvassing, not really officially, because my state attempted to do a recall of um, Jonathan Evers, or Tony Evers. Um, is that that black didn't guy? Didn't work. No, Evers is white. Oh, okay. He's a, <laughs> yeah, he's the Wisconsin governor. Oh, wow. Oh, he, yeah, that guy. Oh, my gosh. Yep. He's, yeah, so, he's not a Christian, though. I don't think he's a Christian. No, he, he's, he's a like Democrat. a principal or something. Yeah, he, I think there was a union issue with the previous guy, Walker, and that's where he lost a lot of his base, I think. And, and the unions kind of just, they went at him. And then, yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know how he got in. Because, you know, most of the house and everything else is this red, right? Over here. And so yeah. he's been challenged multiple times by the courts and, you know, by, by Congress. So and it, it's like, whatever he tries to do, they shut him down. But he keeps, you know, putting out more stuff, you know, acting like a dictator. Yeah, he's a, I thought you were about to say something else. I thought, um... <laughs> Yeah, that's it's a shame on Wisconsin that is that how you pronounce it? I was pronouncing it Tony Evers, but it's Evers, huh? No, it's yes, yeah, it's, it's Evers. Okay, yeah. I have, I just put in a picture of Tony Evers. It's it starts with twelve eighty um, from Wikipedia. Yeah, this so guy is a sleaze. I've known about uh-huh. him since well the Kenosha thing. He was running his mouth with the Kenosha thing, and then with the yep. communist virus. What a ridiculous person. So he's facing a recall, huh? Well, he had a, a recall attempt. That is not a trustworthy face. In 2019. It didn't get enough signatures, apparently. Yeah. Um, so right now, I'm just kind of like, I'm trying to get uh, my guy in, Jonathan Wickman. He's like a guy that I can kind of compare to. He's not a libertarian, but remember Ron Paul and how this complete blackout, like no one covered him? Yeah. This guy's actually a registered Republican candidate. Um, of course, they won't even let him in in Madison. He's been doing stuff already. Um, they actually signed affidavits. They have multiple affidavits that they served him, which they didn't respond. So technically, he's a treasonous. You know, like he, he shouldn't be in office right now. Who? Tony Evers? Um, yeah. Okay. Correct. I got confused I, on still, who you were talking about. But yeah, you, when his, you said local elections, I thought you were talking about actual local elections. I didn't know you were talking about the statewide thing. Yeah, all of it. I mean, it's down to the states and the counties right now. Yeah. I mean, both are important. I mean, cities, yeah, cities, counties, and yes, states, too. Oh, yeah. No, most definitely. Because yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know where federal's going and if it's going to get better. And some people are like, yeah, Trump's still president. and Who knows? And. I was going to say quick when I add this, and I know you got callers. Has anyone seen the Epic Times documentary about the, the election and the supposed ties to China? I have not. Have you, have you, oh, it is so good. I don't know if it's still up, but you guys do some digging. That's incredible. Okay. Like, it'll blow your mind. All right. So Nice. Yeah, I didn't think that China had as much influence as we just have a, a corrupt bunch of people here in America. It's a shame. Well, and that's the thing, too. I'll leave it with this. Uh, apparently, Trump, like, back in 2017, he created some sort of executive order. Like, I think it was actually called the Insurrection Act, which is ironic, like, of 1807. Uh, and everyone was like, yeah, he's going to use it. It's this big secret weapon. And, and uh, oh. now I'm like, I don't know if he did it or not. 
but like I assumed, right? I don't really know because you don't really get to know the nitty gritty details. Yeah, people start to speculate about every little thing, huh? Yeah. Right. So I, I know nothing, but um, that was there, and I was kind of I felt some type of way that he didn't use that because um, you know I think everyone can agree there was some shenanigans there, inconsistencies. Yeah. Um, it wasn't just uh, lying, you know, locals. I think it was a deeper than that, but I mean that's just who knows really. Right. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's my two cents. I Thanks appreciate it, Pegasus. Call. Good to hear yeah. from you. Take care, hey. God bless. Have All right. You as well. Take care, business bear asks, what's going on with the Rittenhouse kid? Oh, you mean Kyle John Wick Jack Bauer Rittenhouse? I don't know. Last I heard, they were trying to lynch some U.S. police and so-called public officials who donated to Kyle Rittenhouse's, uh, I don't know, GoFundMe or whatever it was. I don't even, I can't imagine that GoFundMe even lets him be on there because he's, he's white and he did something right. He defended himself. They don't believe in self-defense if you're white and if you're standing against Antifa BLM. But, yeah, there was a data breach at a Christian crowdfunding website a couple of weeks back, a few weeks back. April 16th, it reported in the foreign outlet, The Guardian, far-left enemies of America. That, you know, some activists, so-called journalists, right, went and dug up the names and found... Found some, like, cop or fireman who donated, I think, am I right? Donated to, uh, the crowdfunding website, or am I getting my stories confused? It's ridiculous. Um, I wanted to share this passage before I get back to Robert is coming up next. 1 Corinthians 7, about marriage. This is from Paul. And I got the King James Version for you guys. I'll probably put it into common English, or at least Hake's English. <laughs> so that because it's, like, distracting trying to translate it. But anyways, he's talking about, It is good for a man not to touch a woman, and to avoid, but to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. This is Paul talking in the, in the letter Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, first letter to the Corinthians church, the church over there. Chapter 7 said, So let every man have his own wife and every woman her, hus- her own husband. Let the husband render th- unto the wife due benevolence, which is a, I like that uh, way of putting it. <laughs> and likewise, the wife under the husband. Nice child friendly way of putting it. The wife does not have power over her own body, but the husband. And likewise, also the husband not power over his body, but the wife. Defraud ye not one another. I'm putting it in the king's English now. Uh, except it be with the consent for a time, and that ye may give yourselves fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempts you not for your incontinency. <laughs> I like how they call it incontinency. If you're, if you have very good comprehension, reading comprehension, listening comprehension, that's the, that's where they're talking about. Don't be uh, withholding sex from one another. But he says this. By permission, as a uh, concession, not as a commandment. But people take that and they read it and say, Oh, it's a commandment. You're supposed to stay having sex with your wife all the time. (laughs) But it doesn't say that. It's a concession. That's the way that you don't get tempted. Because people can't control themselves. It's just an interesting point. And it goes on in verse 7. For I would that all men were even as I am myself. And Paul is saying that because... Wasn't he reputed to be single by himself? But every man has his gift from God. Another has this. One man has this gift. Another has that. So he says to the unmarried and to the widows, it's good for you to stay like that, even as I am. That's what Paul says. The Apostle Paul. A couple of you think that he's a false apostle. (laughs) But if they cannot contain themselves, let them marry, for it's better to marry than to burn. See, it's good to stay single, except for the whites should get married and have white babies. And to the married, I say, well, it's to the God says is what he's saying, or Jesus says, don't let the wife depart from her husband, but, but if she does, 
let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And don't let the husband put away his wife. Meaning, don't, don't be getting divorced. But if you do get divorced, don't remarry. It's in the Bible. And then he says other stuff about wives and husbands and all that stuff. Oh, and if they're, if they're not a believer, let's say you, t- you turn into a Christian your wife is, is not, or you turn into a Christian your husband is not, if you're a, if you're a woman, don't, uh, as long as they're happy to stay, you stay with them. And he actually says the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the believing husband. Otherwise, your children would be unclean, but now they're holy. Isn't that interesting? But if the non-Christian wants to leave, moving on to 15, to verse 15, let him leave. You're not bound in that case. God called us to peace. Because who knows whether you'll be able to save your husband. Aren't they always trying to save their husbands? <laughs> Or who knows whether you'll be able to save your wife. Very nice. As God has distributed to every man, this is verse 17. The Lord has called everyone, so let him walk. Is a man called being being circumcised? Don't become uncircumcised. Were you called in uncircumcision? Don't become circumcised. That's the Jewish stuff. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but keeping the commandments of God. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. This is the part that I really like. Were you called being a servant or slave? Care not for it. But if you can be free, get your freedom. Uh, Go on to 21. Switch over to the next one. It says, art thou called being a servant? Care not for it. If thou may be made free, use it rather. Get your freedom if you can, but don't let it bother you because he who is called in the Lord being a servant is the Lord's free man. So if you're a slave in this world, you're free though by the Lord. You're free spiritually. Also, if you're called and you're a free man in the world, you're also Christ's servant. Or slave. So you were bought with a price. Don't be servants of men. That means don't bond. Don't be uh, indebted to people. (laughs) Some of you guys are heavy on that. Don't owe anybody anything. They say ever, but sometimes, I don't know. Let every man, wherever he was called, abide with God. That means wherever you were called in life or wherever you are in your life right now, don't be trying to up and change it. And it goes on and on. It talks about virgins and more about the marriage and all that stuff. Great chapter. Talking about remaining the situation that you are in in life. It's in the Bible. It's a fact. But if you don't circumcise your baby, they will get cancer, says Jim Eagle. (laughs) Man. Don't ruin my Friday, says Brandon M. That's funny. I mainly wanted to bring up the point about people say stuff is a commandment when it's really not a commandment. Or people will say, oh, I I need to move to California (laughs) because I'm over this place or that place. I want to be over with the Bond people. Let, stay where you are. Stay where you are and let God bring you wherever you go. I'm going to need to see the original Greek text on this hake, says Radulazer. Yeah, maybe so. What is your concern? Anyway, that's, I like that passage. That's 1 Corinthians 7. It goes on and on. Does it say anything else that I want to? Yeah. I wouldn't recommend anyone move to California, says Chris. Yeah. We got it. We'll hold it down for you. Um, Let me talk with Robert in Kansas. Robert, how are you doing? Hank, doing good, bro. How are y'all? Doing fine. Thank you. Good. Um, 
man, whenever you get Earl going, man, when you uh, push his buttons, so to speak, and he starts moving, his blood blood, blood pressure goes up, man. He uh, That's some great radio. You start yelling at each other. It's <laughs> hilarious. Anyway, I appreciate it. I had to call in uh, today because you – you said internet. I think I don't know what you said. International. I don't know what you said. Like gangsters. Gangsters. You said something. Yeah, yeah I used that uh, term that you uh, that you mentioned to me because well, banks is wrong. such a vague term. What? Did, how? Did, how should I have said it? So I called to correct you, right? All so right. You, 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 I said international gangsters. I mean, if you want to do some research, it's international bankers, right? It's right. Private central banking. So you were right about that part. So it's like. Uh, you know, privately owned as opposed to the nation state owning it. Like the Fed or the European Central Bank? Yeah, man. It's, uh, yeah, that, yeah, you can go all into the whole thing there. So, but, uh, anyway, what else are we going to talk about? Oh, yeah, the XX or XYXX. You didn't know about that? You had a female caller call in and she was saying, talking about, uh, you said something about, like, women live longer. and Yeah, uh, early know, on, babies, boy babies are more vulnerable. And yeah. F- okay, to death well, than female well, see, babies? The thing about a, an XX, the thing about an XX chromosomal, uh, apparently, now I can't say that this is true, but apparently in nature, if you just observe it, you can see that women, uh, the female, because the divide is just, Male and female, right? So it's, it's very, it's easy to, to, to observe. And which is uh, which? Female, do what now? Which is which? The XX is female, XY is male? Oh, man, yeah. XX is female, XY is male, yes. Okay, thank you. So, like, you'll notice in females, like, they do tend to live longer. This is, like, across nature. Yeah. And then they also are more resistant to, like, a lot of illnesses. Okay. Um, and then other things, but then they also too like it kind of keeps them in a bandwidth of uh, formation. So there's less women who are like to use the R word retarded, and right. then there's and then there's less women who have like above like a 150 IQ also. Okay. But in the in the, in the males, you'll notice that there's a lot more like knuckle dragging men who are very very dumb. But then there's also a lot of men who have IQs north of 150, too. Yeah, so okay. it seems that what Mother Nature does, you see, like, the male expression, how the male is, like, bigger, stronger, faster, all that. Well, that's, that's also internal as well in terms of his mental faculties and even some say spirit, uh, things like that. So the thing about men is that uh, Mother Nature seems to kind of try things out on men, like, how big can I make this? How how uh, like how can I can I have a two hundred IQ person? Will they will they go crazy and kill themselves? You know, but uh, you know that hey, Mother Nature tries things out. I think in the males to see kind of what what is possible, where she kind of keeps the females more like uh, in a more controlled bandwidth of like where uh, like you can like women are how do you describe it? Like they they kind of like they're the, more average. The, they're like the reservoir, the genetic reservoir of mankind. So they're kind of kept more, yeah, like in a better, like they're just naturally like kind of more robust in a way where it can be hard to hard to kill them, right? Okay. Uh, in, in some ways, and in other ways, they're physically very weak, right? So we might not think of them as hard to kill, but for whatever reason, Mother Nature says, if you make the babies, I'm going to make you kind of a really tough, like tough thing, right? Like a very... You're going to be very, like, uh, you know, like you have to carry the babies through, right, whether they're male or female. So you tend to be, like, blessed in a way that uh, you live longer. And, you know, like, there's lots of stuff that goes into it. But anyway, yeah. women are so pretty, right? <laughs> True. Um, Sometimes. <laughs> are, you, are you excited about your home, your home uh, city, brother? Uh, you're going to get cleaned up there, right? You're talking about Los Angeles? Yeah, they're going to put the homeless into some apartments, or what are they going to do? You know what? I heard a little bit when they were protesting about Echo Park, Echo Lake, getting all cleaned up, because Echo Park was a beautiful place where you can fly your, fly your, uh, your remote control boats on the, on the water, or whatever. And you can go paddle boating and stuff. And then it got cluttered with homeless people, then they tried to clean that up, and took the homeless to uh, hotel rooms and stuff like that on buses. 
And that's all I've heard. You said that you're saying that an L.A. judge says that we have to house the homeless. Is that what you're saying? Is that what happened? Yeah, there was, I was just looking at a report. Who knows how it'll all pan out, right, Hank? I mean, we'll see. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited because you know how I'm a socialist, right? So I, I got pretty excited about it. So A federal um, judge. Yeah, four days ago it was in, actually back in April, too. Shelter all the homeless Skid Row residents. Uh, so go on. I interrupted you. No, I was just saying if you uh, if you can, I think you guys have fifteen dollar minimum wage out there. So you know things are, uh, you know I don't know how it is in California. I know it used to be like probably the most beautiful place on the earth, and uh, I heard now that it's, uh, you know, it's kind of gotten crime ridden and all the homeless and a lot of stuff have gone bad with it. So I hope, uh, I don't know, I hope to return it to, um, you know, through these sort of efforts where we look at. Uh, Instead of the cost of things, we look at the human effect. So how will it be on the streets when Hake is walking to work or whatever? Um, <laughs> yeah. Will it be better Will it be better for Hake? Um, you know, and, and it, like you say, Hake, you can't, you can put these people in projects. You know, they've done this sort of stuff before, right? Like they did it to black people. And, you know, anyway, we, we know how that stuff turns out. So I hope they don't do that. But we'll see. Um, We'll see what they do, man, and um, hopefully it makes like it's like a huge success. That's what I hope, you know. I don't really have high hopes because our the leadership around the country and especially in California and Los Angeles are so corrupt. They're not going to execute any any idea, even if you think it's a good idea. They're not going to execute it right. You know what I mean? What about Kate, what about Caitlyn Jenner? <laughs> I haven't Caitlyn watched Jenner. the interview. Dude, she's gonna fix it, man. She's gonna fix everything. It's a and, heat. Uh, she, no, she uh, she beat out uh, in like the seventies. I forget when it was, but she beat a bunch of men in the Olympics, like a woman, like she did. Right. So, dude, she is a <laughs> she is a bad. That's true. I don't want to touch on the show, but she's a, she's bad, dude. Like she, uh, you know, she don't mess around. So you know, <laughs> you guys, I think you're gonna be just fine. And then what I hope here's what I'm thinking man. in the future. Hey, is this what's and called an what accelerationist? <laughs> you what now? I, I asked, is, is, are you what's called an accelerationist? I was asking Chris. Oh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> want to put that. I don't want to put that sort of title on me, right? Hey, we're on the radio, right? I mean, right. Maybe, if we, maybe we can talk about some stuff someday, but, you know. Um, no, I wouldn't say that, but I do. I think I, I want to hear your opinion for the president. So, so 2024, right? I'm thinking Caitlyn Jenner for president and then... Hear me, hear me out. Chris Christie for vice president. What do you think? <laughs> no fat shaming. I love it. And I'm not talking about skinny Chris. I'm talking about fat Chris Christie. Right. Like full on cheeseburgers, like where he's just emotional and he's just like, <laughs> shut up. You know, he's just like going off, right? Like, just. You, you know, know I, I do kind of like Chris Christie when he's real <laughs> like that. When he's real. When, when he's on like barbiturates and cheeseburgers. It's like. <laughs> Just, just make the trains run on time. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Robert. Interesting okay. input, as always. Thanks, man. All right. Man. Hey, hey, we didn't get to the Biden thing. Do you have time to talk about there's no more rights? Do you know why there's no more rights, Hank? Do you know why? There's no more rights? Well, Biden said there's no more, like, con- like, like concrete constitutional rights to, to okay. people. Did you know about that recently? I know that he said that it's that no... None of the amendments are uh, are pervasive, something along those lines. But you know why, though? You know why that is? Um, no, tell me. Because of white supremacy. No rights are absolute because of white supremacy? Yeah, because, see, the founding fathers were white men. Yeah. You see, so it's, it's inherently racist that you're able to speak the thoughts that you have or like to feed right. yourself in nature, you know, like it's, that's, that they didn't, they didn't just observe the order of God and write it down. No, no, no. It's white supremacy to be able to recognize the truth. Yeah. So that's why you don't have any rights. Eh? Interesting, man. So I, I think I that's, there's some tell, truth to that. Go ahead, Matt. Go ahead. I think there's some truth to that because any time that you hear a person saying something that's commonsensical, uh, I will sometimes mockingly say, that's very white of you, no matter what race of the person is. And, 
and it's true because I mean, I was always mocked for being white for putting on my seatbelt and following the rules, listening to the law, putting on my helmet because it was it was the law you had to wear a helmet in <laughs> in California if you're a kid riding a bike, and so I was called white for following the rules and obeying the law of the land. And sometimes whites go overboard with that stuff, but basically believing in law and order and justice and stuff, that is considered white by many, including my, some of my Asian friends. And they appreciate me for it, but they, uh, it is considered white. That's interesting. Well, when they're blaming all this stuff on white supremacy, hate like your black callers, just let them know that uh, they're they're going to be disarmed. Like you're not going to be able to right. own a gun because George Washington was racist. Yeah, and so like just True. tell you know tell them tell them to try to think through what they're saying. They may have been racist. They may have been slave owners. You know what they call slaves today, Hey, You know what they call slaves today? They call them employees. Or taxpayers. Right? So, <laughs> well, yeah. So, so, you know, I mean, the, 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 you know, just tell them that, you know, if you don't, if you don't appreciate what any race did for us, whether yeah. they be white, whether they be whoever, but, you know, a lot of stuff comes from white people, right? And it's not just the combustion engine or the electricity grid. It, 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 it's a lot more than that. It's yeah. ideas. Yeah. Okay. And so, you know, they act like, oh, we want to just throw away every all of this stuff because a white man said it. Well, guys, you know, I mean, why don't you think about what you're what you're saying there? I mean, you the black people if, not benefited from white people. You right? know what? I if mean, if you are a POC and you got injustice against you, you're more likely to get. Out of all the races, you're more likely to get a white on your side on behalf of actual justice. I'm talking about actual injustice, right? Than, than any other race in America. So these people, it's just right for them to take up for this attack on whites because it's unjust. So, anyway. And we, and we initially brought up the, the, the divide in nature of men and women. You'll also notice, too, the same thing you said about white people. Hey, you'll notice about men. Right. Okay? So, very true. Some men, are, some men are very evil, right? And those yep. men have a great capacity, so they tend to be more influential and noticeable. However, in, on, in general, like in society, if you let women run the society, you will achieve a lesser society for True. both men and women to live in. Yep. So, so, so that's the thing, is that everything, like you say, that, that, that it's white, also the true with the masculine-feminine divide. Right. The, Very the true. system is just against all the divides that you can think of, whether it's men, uh, race, or whether it's uh, your sexual preference, or whether it's just certain worldviews. Whatever the divide is, you'll notice that they're always against what is right and true. That's what the the nature of our government is. It doesn't like men, but it especially yeah. doesn't like white men, right? It especially doesn't like white straight men. White, white straight, straight Christian conservative. Family. Yep. <laughs> yeah, with a, yeah, exactly. They don't like family men, and you can be a black guy, right? Yeah. But if you're a black conservative guy with a family, if you're Bill Cosby, they, hate they you. don't like you either. They just like the white guy. They just hate the white guy even more. Right. They still hate you. Right, that's how it works. So they they hate the divides the way they do, and they try to get those gay black women in charge of everything right. because just get them to do anything. They'll just there's just no morals there. They'll just do anything. I know. You know? So that's uh, that's what's going on, brother. And we gotta we gotta fight back and uh, put the put the white people are in there, conservative black man like Jesse Lee Peterson, stuff like that. I don't care, man. I'll yep. take anything at this point. I'll take a strong woman, which is <laughs> which is terrible for me to say. I know. I mean, right now, it's desperate times, brother. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate you, man. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye, hey, y'all. Yeah, bye, man. All right. Zach in Columbus, Ohio. I got to get to Zach. I got a lot of people on hold. Zach, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Hey, How are you? Doing fine. Thank you. That's good. Um, yeah, I want to talk about the Olympic banning, you know, Black Lives Matter. And I think they also banned kneeling for the national anthem. Wow. Yeah. That's and, and kind of nice. It, but is that Tokyo? Like, is that is that the Japanese making these rules? I'm not sure because you know it's the. I don't know who runs the Olympics. I feel like if it's the Olympics, like one person from every country would. You know, Maybe so, but I think the, the Japanese board. are especially in charge because this is Tokyo. They're also allowing yeah. the first transgender woman, so-called woman. 
to oh compete God, maybe. On this board. So a man? Yeah, I mean there is a couple of men already ousted for saying true things about women. Japanese men, old school guys, saying stuff that's true about uh women. For example, like one guy, one guy who was uh, the former Japanese prime minister from years ago, he said that women tend to get all competitive, and if one of them talks in a meeting, the other one tries to talk just as much, and they get all in their head about stuff. And so meetings last forever when women are involved. They should be quiet. <laughs> which, th- which is kind of true. Laurel Hubbard will be the first so-called transgender Olympian. Wow. Oh, gosh. Terrible. Wonder how that's gonna go. Yeah. What a mess. Well, that's is a that's mess. you know I I can't blame them because they want the focus to be on the Olympics and feel good stuff, not controversy over political activism because that's all it is, the kneeling and all that stuff. But they'll probably do it and get away with it most likely because it's not like the Japanese are really that st- strong. They- so. Like white America sticking up in a way, I guess. Yeah. Because it's singing the state national anthem, assuming. Oh, yeah. Um, you know. Are they going to sing the black of, national you know. anthem? <laughs> Lift every <laughs> voice and sing. The black Lives Matter national anthem. Yeah. That, that's a. Sooner than later, they're going to be singing that at schools. I know. It's terrible. It's going to be bad. Yep. It's out to the people in chat. Thank you. Fun of me because I'm back. <laughs> Shout out to Zach. He's back. Very nice. All right, Hank. Take care, man. Have nice a good weekend. All right. Yep, you too. Um, Ledge Klinger over there on Trovo.live slash The Hake Report with a colorful chat says, The Hake Report, The Hake Report, la la la. Love your little homemade Christian show. Hey, keep it up. Hello, Chris as well. Good work. Nice. On behalf of Chris and me, thank you, Ledge Klinger. Appreciate the support. Let me just double check the Streamlabs. Uh, Hydro says, ask Earl. In all the years he's been calling JLP, have things gotten worse or better for blacks? Great question. I would say that, I would say things have gotten worse for blacks and for everybody. In all the years that Earl has been calling the JLP show. Uh, Rick in Hampton, Virginia, and Ramon in San Jose, California. I love you guys. I cannot get to you. We do have bigger TVs. That's true. Entertainment. That's all you really need. You don't need character. Um, I cannot get to you and the rest of the callers. I have to play my final Salters song of the week, and maybe of ever, some of you guys might celebrate, and some of you guys might be crying. Some little ethnic child. (laughs) Appreciate you. This is a live rendition of The Sword. The Sword by Salters. And um, enjoy it. I do have The Fallen State coming up. The Fallen... Well, I say I. We have The Fallen State coming up in an hour or so. The premiere... An excellent episode with that unstable, nice black Christian lady. <laughs> I think you will enjoy it. We have church with Jesse Lee Peterson. Rebuildingtheman.com slash church. Make sure you go to rebuildingtheman.com or jessileepeterson.com. If you are a male, to attend, buy tickets for the men's conference coming up mid-August. Thanks, guys, and take care. Enjoy the sword from Salters. Amen. Oh,